I'm a front painter who a 2 megapixel video um, doorbell is battery powered and is available with free delivery from freetv.ie. Really like this product. It's cool. It comes in this pack here, okay, and all the component parts in front of us. So the basic idea of this is a few things. You want to have a situation where somebody comes and rings their doorbell and you're able to look and see who it is and talk to them through a two-way communication. You can also set it up with a PIR sensor so it'll likely notify you directly when uh, somebody comes up and phone you just to say there's a move in the front of your door. And um, you have the ability to uh, subscribe, I believe, and, and save directly to the cloud in terms of constantly recording. But a much more effective way of doing things here is to come along and um, just have it a uh, start your app here and thing, and then you can record onto your phone or you can take a snapshot, something like that. Or you can communicate with the person if somebody welcome talk to them, and if somebody unwelcome tell them to leave the premises. Okay? Um, the great thing here is it's battery powered. So there's a, um, a micro USB cable here with it. So we come along, we charge it up. Three and a half hours will give us up to five months of usage. So extremely low usage. And the reason, of course, is that people won't be constantly ringing your doorbell. It's not constantly in action, okay? So um, that's the next thing here. So if we look at the actual unit here, it comes in this box. We have a screwdriver, we have a cable, we have um, a bracket here, and we have the actual unit itself, okay? We have plugs and screws here, and we'd use that for mounting this directly on. And if we actually look at the base here, we'll see it lines up a little hole here. So we can actually screw this in once we have the bracket sitting on the wall. Then we don't have the, all the hassle of running a, a cable directly over to it to run power and things like that because once every five months you just unplug it, charge it back up and stick it back out again. So the ease of the implementation there is very impressive. When we're actually looking at how we're going to do the charging here, I'm just going to open this at the back here, um, and we'll see we have a little micro USB port there on it. And there's an SD card slot indeed there, where we can actually insert an SD card and do recording on it there, or you have the option to save to the cloud or save directly to your phone. So what I'm going to do at this point in time is I'm just going to press the doorbell thing here. And there's going to be terrible feedback when I did it, do this simply because our phone is right next to our um, thing. So it's going to loop through, okay, because the microphone here will pick it up and loop back through. So just press and it'll say here, getting a phone call. And it's bringing up the app, the iNew app, which you've downloaded on it. And it's saying you want to accept the phone call. We do, we can see the photograph here, accept it. And what will happen here is we'll add our picture out. Okay, I'm going to hang up now. Simply because I don't uh, wreck my eardrums listening to it, okay? Now, um, in terms of when we're, when we're using it live, we have come along and we can hit the microphone to talk into it, we can do the recording, all the rest of it. It'll just pop up in the menu, menu just down below here, that's perfect. Um, in terms of uh, what's the most common setting, it's not setting, which you probably need, and that is the option of uh, PIR detection. So PIR detection means that you don't, you don't have to wait for somebody to actually ring the doorbell. What can happen is somebody walks up towards the door and actually comes along and does it. So I'm just going to go in here, I'm going to go to the device list here, and I'm going to go to the alarm settings here, which is basically the alarm settings. Okay? So I have an alarm setting here, and I'm just going to go down into the section here. And what we have is, it's turned off currently, but we can see the zones. What I can say is I'm going to have to work it directly on the zone in front of me, or to the right, or to the left, and that's it. Now the one thing here is, PIRs are fantastic, they're also terrible in certain circumstances for false alarms. And if it's false alarm constantly, just no way to look. So it just gives you great flexibility where you can come along, you can have a go at it, see does it work. And if it works great without false alarms, or you can find out that if I go for certain zones it'll work and other zones it won't. So it just gives you that great flexibility in terms of the overall thing that's on it there, okay? So I'm just going to go back out of that and we'll just exit there, out of there, and then we're back into the PIR. To turn the PIR, it's actually the button above, okay? So um, we have another video that's in the series that's going to cover downloading the app and all the rest of it here. But just remember, like, when the doorbell rings and it's going directly to your phone, you have the option of, do you want to do it, um, you know, do you want to be able to uh, uh, talk to people and view them directly? Uh, from your phone app. You could be sitting in your house or you could be a thousand miles away and the key thing is that the person ringing the bell doesn't know what the situation is. So it's really using technology thing and the ease of setup is using all the peer-to-peer -peer technology. So it's just incredibly easy. It sets up in the local Wi-Fi network and they're able to direct it. So the setup time of this, we'll see in the next video, is extremely short. Like this product, far superior, I'd say, than virtually anything else and the price point on it now is just low, low cost.